So Record Store Day is once again coming up on November 25th, 2022, and I've got my list of top metal and hard rock vinyl that I might want to buy. So in this video, I'll go through those exclusive picks, as well as what also might look good for genre fans in both the US and the UK. So for those who might not know, Record Store Day is generally a twice yearly event that's been going on since 2007 and takes place at participating record stores around the world. For these one day events, the record labels release more or less exclusive albums, whether reissues with bonus content, never before available recordings, picture discs, you name it. And speaking of the last, this RSD might be a tad unusual for metal fans is that there are actually no Dio picture discs. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is up for debate, but maybe the Dio estate is rethinking the whole overpriced singles on a noisy format thing. We'll see. But back to RSD proper, I should warn you that not every record store has every RSD release. Uh, the stores actually buy the specific titles they think they can sell, so they may or may not have the ones you're looking for, so definitely keep that in mind. Given that, here are my featured metal and rock releases for Record Store Day Black Friday 2022. Followed by my top picks from the list, which means I'm first going through the albums I likely don't want, but that you might want. So get ready for a little bit of opinion here. Fair warning on that one. Starting with the US, we have Black Label Society with Scullage. This is an RSD first release, limited to 4,000 copies. It is a two LP set consisting of a best of compilation of tracks from their early days. This is the first time on colored vinyl as well. No news on exactly what color that is, but it's definitely colored vinyl. Uh, so not a Black Label Society fan, so I'm going to be passing on this one. For the US and the UK, we have Dream Widow with their self-titled album. This is an RSD exclusive release, limited to 12,000 copies. And as many of you know, this is a project headed by Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters, as well as some friends of his. Basically, music done for the horror comedy film Studio 666, which the band is in. It's kind of sludgy, stoner doom metal of sorts. Um, really didn't grab me at all, so I'm not getting this one as well. Next up for the US, we have Ace Frehley with Origins Volume 2 Picture Disc. This is an RSD first release, limited to 5,000 copies. Uh, this is a cover tunes album that originally came out a couple years ago. Uh, this version also comes with a Christmas card, just because. I um, already have the original release on vinyl, so I don't need the Picture Disc version. Next up for the US, we have Ghosts within Para, also a picture disc version. This is an RSD exclusive limited to 9,250 copies. So yes, another picture disc. Uh, this time for Ghosts' latest album, of course. Um, still haven't warmed up to modern releases from this band, and I don't like picture discs much these days, so I'm going to pass on this one too. Next up for the US, we have Green Jelly with Music to Insult Your Intelligence By. Uh, this is an RSD first release, limited to 1,700 copies. Uh, originally recorded in 1995, but shelved when the label went out of business. Uh, it resurfaced in 2009 as a CD release, but this is its first vinyl pressing. Um, this one's to be released on orange and black splatter vinyl, and also remastered by Jack Shirley, if that matters to you. I do remember when this band came out originally, they were Green Jello, but they had to change their name because of some trademark conflict with the Jello company. A uh, bit of a gimmick band back then, and I really haven't followed them since, so I'm likely not going to get this one. Next up for the US, we have Kitty with Oracle. This is an RSD first release, limited to 3,000 copies. Yes, this is Kitty's second album, which actually brings a little bit of death metal influence into their music. Uh, first time on vinyl here, clear red vinyl, to be precise. Didn't know much about this record, but I might check into it, but for now, it's not on my buy list. Next up for the US and the UK is Mr. Big with their self-titled album. This is an RSD first release, limited to 2,500 copies. Again, a reissue of their 1989 debut album. Uh, this time it's been remastered from the original tapes and pressed to 180 gram vinyl, solid blue vinyl for the US. Uh, copies are also numbered. Um, I've generally been okay with this band, but I'm not sure if I'm motivated to get this. We'll see. Next up for the US is Shadows Fall with The Art of Balance. This is an RSD first release, limited to 2,500 copies. This is a reissue of their third album from 2002. It's also when the band moved away from melodic death metal into something a bit more in the metalcore realm. Uh, this one comes on limited edition colored vinyl with a bonus 7-inch of two additional songs. 
Not really a subgenre I'm into, so I'm likely to skip. Next up from the U.S. is Dee Snyder and Lizzie Hale with The Magic of Christmas Day. This is an RSD exclusive release, limited to 1,500 copies. This is a 12-inch red vinyl single of a new track recorded by Twisted Sister vocalist Dee Snyder and Hale Storm's Lizzie Hale. Not big on singles for the most part, and I already have the Twisted Sister Christmas album, so I feel I might not need this one. Next up for the U.S. and the U.K. is Steeler with their self-titled debut album. This is an RSD exclusive release, limited to 1,500 copies. So in case you don't know about this record, this is a reissue of the band's 1983 debut album, yay, their only album, featuring Ron Keel on vocals and Ingve J. Malmsteen on guitar. I am a huge fan of this record and would highly recommend getting this reissue if you don't already have it. Of course, I do have it, which is why I don't need a reissue. Next up for the U.S. and the U.K. is The Sword with Apocryphon. This is a 10th anniversary edition, RSD exclusive release, limited to 3,800 copies. So another reissue, this time for The Sword's fourth album from 2012, is pressed on yellow swirl 180 gram vinyl. Not getting this one as well as it's just not my thing, but the band has its fans, so snag it if interested. Next up in the U.S. and the U.K. is Unto Others with Strength 2. This is an RSD first release limited to 1,000 copies. It is a collection of six previously unreleased and demo tracks from this goth metal band formerly known as Idle Hands. It's been pressed on translucent sea blue vinyl. Haven't really gotten into this band, but one day with more listens I might. But for now, I'm not interested in getting this material. So I am passing on quite a bit of what's on this list, though that's not really unusual for me. However, there are a couple releases I'm a little more hopeful of and will perhaps pick up on Record Store Day. Maybe. First up for the U.S. and the U.K. is Motley Crue with Girls, Girls, Girls Tour EP. This is an RSD exclusive release limited to 4,250 copies. So the story with this one is that it was originally meant to be released for the 1987 European leg of the Girls, Girls, Girls Tour, but the dates were canceled. Since then, this went out of print. It was never released in the U.S. as it stands until this reissue. Uh, the four-song EP will be repressed on red 10-inch vinyl. So I'm only getting this if it's live material. That's a distinction that's really unclear right now on the RSD site. If this is simply a compilation of studio tracks, then I'm probably going to pass. And for the U.S., we have Motorhead with The Lost Tapes, Volume 3, Live in Malmo, 2000. This is an RSD exclusive release limited to 2,600 copies. So another addition in this live album series, the live set is from the We Are Motorhead tour recorded at KB Hallen in Malmo, Sweden on November 17th, 2000. Strange that I didn't see this title on the UK list considering the band is actually from the UK. Uh, if you're in Britain and you see this in your local record store, you should let me know in the comments. I'd be kind of curious about that. Album is pressed on 2LP green vinyl. And since I have the other two volumes, it's likely I'll get this one as well. Pretty cool. So yes, two records, not much to get for me really, but if you're excited about some of the other titles, you should let me know in the comments which ones you're wanting to get. And I'm also cool with reading about your RSD gripes too. It's not everyone's imagination that there's a profound lack of metal these days on the RSD list. So give me that as well. Again, Record Store Day will be on November 25th, 2022. Of course, for more info on Record Store Day in general, check out the official site intuitively found at recordstoreday.com for the U.S. and recordstoreday.co.uk for the U.K. And if this is your first time at my channel, just so you know, my name is Matt. This is the Accusation Network, where each and every week I do videos on metal vinyl collecting. I also cover classic and modern metal bands in general. If that sounds like something you dig, you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Like this video and share it with your friends. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.